I'm Bradley Klon, and this is The American Athlete. Bradley Klon, I play professional tennis, and we're at the Western and Southern Open, the Masters 1000 event in Cincinnati. Tennis is a great sport for exercise. It's a great sport socially to meet a lot of people. It's something that you can play for your entire life. My grandfather was playing tennis five days a week until he was 88. I love the game for numerous reasons. I love being out there on my own competing. I think a big part of it is problem solving, figuring out your opponent, finding ways to match up my strengths against his strengths and weaknesses and just the competitiveness of it. Uh, I also love the feeling of hitting the tennis ball. I think that's what it comes down to it. I love practicing um, just everything about the movements and uh, making good contact. I started playing tennis when I was 11. I played a lot of other sports, baseball, basketball, soccer, um, and my mom played tennis in college, but she just had myself and my siblings in different sports trying to figure out what we loved and sure enough I picked up a tennis racket started playing a little bit more and the rest of the sports went away pretty quickly. So I had a back surgery in 2015. Uh, it was pretty soon after I had reached my career high. It was tough. I always knew that I wanted to get back to tennis but I had a lot of doubts about whether or not my body would be able to hold up and there were a lot of moments where I thought that it was time for me to hang up the rackets and use my degree. But there was always a part of me that knew I still had a little bit left in tennis and I wanted to make sure that I got the most out of that before I did move on. And my fiance was really great in pushing me and believing that I could come back and making sure that I stayed the course. And uh, there's a lot of doubts that come in and it takes a while to kind of knock off the doubts one at a time. It's a long year this season, running from January to November, so you really have to know how to pick and choose the weeks to play, um, recognizing when you may be a little bit fatigued, when it's time to push through, when it's time to kind of taper back, and those are all things that come with experience. The resolve Bradley used to deal with a career-threatening injury is something that has changed his entire outlook on life. I think it's some a mindset that's developed over time. I don't think it's the same mindset I had when I came out of school, when I graduated. But I think going through a back surgery, being out of tennis for two years, struggling to come back and debating whether or not I should play tennis again, and now starting to see the benefits of the hard work that I've put in start to pay off. I think it allows me to see a little bit of the bigger picture and kind of where I fit in it. I feel that I am more appreciative of the opportunities that I'm taking advantage of now. And I also feel like there's a lot more that I want to accomplish. I'm happy with the way I'm progressing and I just want to keep seeing how, how far I can go, how much I can improve. I think that's the biggest thing out here in any sport. If you feel like you can't improve anymore, then it makes it a lot more difficult. Sure, I'm maybe doing things well, but always trying to get that little bit extra out of myself is what keeps me going. 